Paintings and their painters are a rather elusive side quest that follows you throughout the lands between. It's more than likely that you've ran into a few of the paintings scattered about the map, but you may not have known that there is a corresponding painter that grants you an item upon delivery of their respective painting. Join me now to learn the location of each painting, its corresponding painter, and the reward you will receive from each. You more than likely stumbled upon the first painting located in the artist's shack in Limgrave on the map as shown. However, you may have missed the painter that created the masterpiece. You can find them by traveling from the seaside ruins site of grace as shown and follow the path over to the painter. Every painter will fade away upon delivery of their specific painting. In their place will be left the reward item. In this case, the incantation scarab headpiece will be left behind. When equipped, it will decrease FP cost of incantations by 15% for the trade-off of 5% more damage taken. The next painting you will encounter will be in Stormvale Castle. Following the path from the Liftside Chamber Site of Grace, you can find the Prophecy painting in the room to the right. Now that you have the painting itself, you will need to travel to the Church of Pilgrimage in the Weeping Peninsula on the map as shown. Traveling behind the church, you will find the painter located near the cliffside. Your reward for delivering this painting will be the Warhawk Ashes. The next painting you come across can be found in Liurnia of the Lakes. This painting will also be located in an artist's shack on the grace by the same name. Once you've obtained the resurrection painting, you will need to travel to the Behind Caria Manor site of grace and make your way through the graveyard along the path shown to find the painter. The three items dropped will include the Juvenile Scholar Cap and Juvenile Scholar Robes, which is the attire worn by the scholars that shield Renala during her fight. It also includes one of 18 larval tears used to respec your character at Renala once she is defeated. The next location you will find a painting will be in the town of Celia in Kaelid. Following the path from the Celia Understair site of grace, you will find Red Main painting. The painter for this painting is in a rather elusive location and can be accessed easiest by traveling to the Fort Faroth grace site as shown. You will either need to complete the platforming puzzle to get down or you can simply cheese the platforming by jumping in the spirit spring at the very edge and falling all the way down as you take no fall damage from a jump in the spring. Once you reach the bottom, you can safely collect your reward without alerting the golem nearby. This painter gifts you with the Ash of War, Rain of Arrows. The next painting encountered will be located within the capital of Line Dell in the same room as the Fortified Manor First Floor Site of Grace. You will find the corresponding painter located in the Windmill Village. Follow the path south from the Site of Grace to find the painter. Delivering this painting will reward you with Fire's Deadly Sin Incantation, the one that was used for so many multiplayer glitches. These glitched interactions have since been patched out of the game at the time of making this video, but it is still a cool incantation regardless. The second to last painting can be located by traveling to the Shaded Castle Rampart site of Grace. There you can follow the path around and down to find the Champion's Song painting under the stairs as shown. 
You will then need to travel to the rampart side path site of Grace and follow the route up the small hillside. Be wary if this is your first time visiting this location as ancient dragon Lanciax will descend from the sky and engage in battle with you. Once defeated, you can proceed to the location to find the painter. The reward for delivering this painting will be the harp bow. The final painting can be located within Castle Soul. Follow the path through the castle, being weary of the many enemies that you will encounter along the way. Drop down the ladder and the painting will be located in front of you. You can then exit by opening the one-way door to the right. Once you've obtained the painting, the painter is relatively close by in the mountaintops of the giants. Proceed from Snow Valley Ruins Site of Grace to the far bridge following the path as shown. There you will find the painter and the final item available, the Great Hood. This is more so an early game item, but since it is located on the mountaintops, can only be obtained in late game, which makes it a rather useless item overall. However, it still can provide a cool look for your character if you so choose to use it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are new and would like to see more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you need assistance on any further quests, make sure to check out my quest tutorial playlist. New quests coming every week. As always, have a great one, and I'll see you next time.